So I was recording. I was recording an episode of HL22 Be a Pro. This one you guys are watching currently. Um, we moved on to the second round. We are facing Las Vegas in the second round. Um, but OBS decided to not record the Elgato capture card at all. Completely black screen. That's about it. And you just see my face cam and my audio. That was that was it. That's the whole first period. Um, but luckily I caught it before I started the second period. We are tied 1-1 here in the, in the first period. So we're going into the second period tied. Um, I got one goal. Mark Stone has one goal. Um, so hopefully we can actually come back here in the second period. Luckily I caught it before I even was done recording and everything like that. Good thing I stopped to take a drink and check something on my computer and I realized that OBS wasn't really recording Elgato for some reason like I could tell when it's recording the Elgato and recording my face game at the same time because of the CPU usage and don't tell me we were injured this is just an overall bad video man this should be oh man no this is not good this is not good. Well, obviously we're gonna watch the rest of the vi we're gonna watch the rest of the game, obviously, because I I need a video. <laughs> I need a video for you guys, and it's still tied, so we still have an opportunity to actually come back here and possibly win this. That sucks. We got injured. I didn't realize we got hit, because I was trying to explain to you guys what happened with OBS and everything. But um, well, that sucks. That really does suck. What am I going to do with this video? We're two minutes into the video. We're two minutes into the recording. And I can't just upload like a two minute video. We're going to watch the rest of this. We're going to watch the rest of this. It's kind of sucks that this is the video for today. But hopefully you guys still enjoy it. Hopefully you guys still enjoy it. Everything like that. Hopefully we actually win game one here. And hopefully we're not injured for the rest of the playoffs. That would suck. It'll make an interesting title for the video. But it would suck in general. Um, because, like, what the hell? I believe I had full energy, too, didn't I? Didn't I have, like, full energy? When I got hit there? Because I was, I was trying to explain to you guys. Well, I was in the middle of explaining what happened with OBS and everything. That I didn't realize I actually got hit. I wasn't really looking at the game, really. I looked over to OBS and I looked down. And I'm injured. So. Yeah, don't know what happened. Don't know what happened. But hopefully we can actually come back here. And actually get the lead here. Can't believe it didn't ask me for a uh, pop up the menu and stuff. It, can't, it didn't pop up the menu or anything. Man, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do now? And sorry for like the non-energetic video. OBS kind of killed the mood, um, really, uh, for this entire video. Kind of got me injured, actually. OBS got me injured. Yep. I'm gonna blame it. I'm gonna blame it on the software. I'm gonna blame it on the software. But hopefully, we can actually still get the lead here. The game is going very slow. Like, there's something different about this. Like, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel the same, right? It, it feels it feels weird. The game feels weird overall. I don't know what it is, but it, it just feels weird overall. And this is going to be an interesting video. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what to talk about. I really don't know what to talk about. Hopefully, like... Oh, man. This is going to be a toughie. This is going to be a toughie. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video anyways, like I said. I know I know you guys will anyways. But hopefully you guys still do. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. But sometimes this stuff happens. Like, it just it just happens. It sucks when it does happen, but it does happen. Um, I'm still looking into like different programs to record, but OBS is like the only good program to record. 
<laughs> other than the Elgato program. But um, other than that, yeah, it's just, just uh, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. But hopefully, hopefully we can actually break the tie here. Oh, that was pretty close. Oh, come on, cover it. There you go, Gibson. There you go, Gibson. I'm gonna take a screenshot before I actually forget. All right, guys, I took in this. I taken the screenshot. I'm gonna say took him. <laughs> I have taken the screenshot. Uh, we're still injured. I'll let you guys know. Give you guys a small update. Small update. We're still injured. Hopefully, we're not injured for the entire rest of the playoffs because that would suck. That would suck. But if we do get in, if we if it happens, if we're injured for the rest of the season or the rest of the playoffs, hopefully our team can actually pull out a win. Because that would be that would be awesome if our team can actually pull out a win and everything like that. But I don't know what to talk about. I really don't know what to talk about in this video. Like I really don't know what to talk about, which sucks. Because the last couple of videos, last couple of videos have been just awesome. Awesome to play, awesome to record. Like it was just, it was so good. The uh, like the videos, but like OBS not working for the first period, and us getting injured. It's kind of killed the the mood. It really did. It really killed the mood, which sucks. And obviously, I could go back and not save this and possibly re-record this entire thing and make like act like nothing happened but that's not the type of person or youtuber that i am if i'm going to record a video and i get injured in the middle of the game i get injured in the middle of the game it happens like it just happens and i like to keep it in now we're down by now we're down by one great now we're down by one Hopefully we can actually, uh, hopefully we can actually come back in the second game ourselves. Um, if we do lose game one, that is fine. We we lose game one, we move on. Um, I'm more worried about our player. I'm more worried about our pro right now, currently, because I'm thinking like, last time I had one of these injuries, I was out for the rest of the playoffs. And this is not like when you get your first when you're in your first playoffs in this game and you do get injured, it kind of like like you're injured for the rest of the game. You move on. You're going to play the next one like and then when you're injured now, you're injured for the for the remainder of the playoffs, which sucks, which does suck. But uh, anyways, let's move on from the second period because for some like for some weird reason this period is going on forever. So we end the second period down by one, unfortunately, which sucks. But hopefully our team can actually. I'm, I'm I love that I'm in the the screen to walk back to uh, to the locker room with with my team. Like I love that. Like I'm not there. I, I, for a second there, I thought I was on the ice. For a split second, I thought I was on the ice there. But I wasn't. But anyways, third and final period. We're going to let it play for the first, like, five minutes of the period. And then uh, we're going to see what happens for the rest. And then go into the... Back into the main menu. And see how long we're injured for. If we're just injured for a couple of days. Um... Or anything like that then we move on right if we're injured for a couple days that's fine but if we're injured for the rest of the season we're gonna see if our team can actually pull off and actually win the playoffs without us in this video so we're gonna see what happens see if we can actually tie it up first in the first like five minutes here of the of the period gives me a nice save from the pass across there I believe his name is Dylan Sprong, or Spr uh, is it Sprong? Probably, uh, I probably pronounced his name wrong, but I know it's Dylan something. Well, I know his last name, but I, just, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Zegras with the puck there. Fowler with the puck, trying to keep it in. 
Um, Dylan with the puck. Oh, Fowler with the puck. Now Dylan with the puck. Going back into our zone for some reason. Drasdale with the puck. Hopefully we can actually... Oh no, that guy's last name. I'm not even going to try. Sam Steele with the puck. Ooh, try to do a little dangles. Try to do a little dangles. We'll go with the next whistle. Whenever the next whistle is, then we'll then we'll jump ahead and find out our fate. That's what I'm going to name this video. Finding out our fate. That's... <laughs> uh, or what is our fate? I'm going to put it like, what is our fate? Or like, finding out our fate. In that type of realm. We're going to see. Man, this is a long, uh, this is a long shift, long, uh, long play without the, without a whistle. Oh man, I feel like a whistle is coming up though. <laughs> I feel like a whistle is coming up though. There we go, Sam Steele with the puck in our zone. There we go. Number sixteen, is it number sixteen. I think it's number sixteen. Number fifty-five, big guy. We got a big, big defenseman. We always need a big defenseman. We always need a big defenseman. Here we go. Oh, here we go. We got something going. We can get something going. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We're keeping it. We're keeping the possession in their zone. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh, nice shot on that. Unfortunately, he did a blocker save. Oh, that was a really nice play. I wish he actually skated up a little bit more and shot a top corner. And a breakaway for the uh, Vegas. But Gibson with a nice save right there. Oh man, I didn't expect actually this period to actually go as long as it it is right now. Holy crap. Alright, we're still in their zone. Ooh. Alright. Come on. Keep it in. Alright, we lose it. Carlson with the puck. Going into our zone. Carlson, I feel like he's going to shoot. Nope, Gibson with a nice save. And Gibson with the cover with 9 minutes and 5 seconds left. <laughs> so there you go. Alright, let's see Let's see if we lost game 1 or we're going to overtime in game 1. Or we won game 1. We lost game 1. Unfortunately. We're the ones who had scored the only goal on the team. I believe if we didn't get injured, we would have actually came back and actually won that. That's what I feel like. That's what I feel like. If we actually didn't get injured... We actually would have come back and actually won that game. But uh, we didn't. Oh, look at... They're sad. You can really see the sad look on their face. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're, we're injured. Which I don't like. Which none of us likes. Yeah, status lineup is injured. Hopefully you guys can see that in the recording. It's right above... Or right below followers and stuff like that. So if you guys can see it, it's in red. Um... But uh, anyways, let's see. It looks like we're going to be injured for quite a while. And we lost that game. We lost game one and game two. Can we win game three? We won game three. We lost in overtime. And we lost in overtime. So we're out of the playoffs, boys. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this playoff run. Because I certainly did. Uh, we lost 4-1 to one against Vegas. We're still injured. Which is not good. Which is not good. So Dallas won. So Dallas is going to go up against Vegas. Currently, it's, it's Boston and Toronto. They are 3-2. Uh, New York Rangers and uh, Carolina are 3-2. So, um... Yeah, who is going to win the playoffs? Who is going to win the playoffs? We're still injured. All right, let's check the standings. I hope Vegas is losing uh, just because uh, they beat us out. And, um, oh, Toronto beat uh, Boston and Carolina beat uh, the New York Rangers. So... Is Toronto finally going to make it to the Stanley Cup Finals and actually potentially win? We're going to summon a couple days. We're going to go back, check off the playoff tree, check it out. All right, Toronto's up 3-1. So is Vegas. Vegas is up 3-1. That would be interesting series, Vegas and Toronto. 
in the Stanley Cup playoffs. All right, we have a new conversation with the coach. Let's see what he has to say. I saw it, you know, this is a sad moment, but I just want to let you know that I'm proud how you played. Thanks, coach. I'm pretty, uh, I appreciate that. I'm really upset. We were so close. We gave it our best. We really did. Like, we got injured. How could we, we can't predict that. We can't, like, <coughs> sorry, I had a cough there. But um, we can't, like, really, like, really go with it. But, um, oh, it's Toronto and Vegas. It's Toronto and Vegas for the Stanley Cup Finals, boys. Oh, my God. Hopefully, uh, Vegas wins because I don't want Toronto to win. <laughs> oh, man, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Toronto fans. I'm your bucket hats. Toronto's leading 2-1 to one in the series so far. So, it looks like Toronto's actually going to win the Stanley Cup. In this game. It looks like Toronto's going to win the Stanley Cup in this game. The series is tied 2-2. <gasps> oh, interesting. Interesting. I like it. I like uh, I like the drama. Alright. We're going to check it again. Oh, the playoffs are complete. Toronto Maple Leafs have won the Stanley Cup. Holy crap. The Toronto make me laughs. I've won the Stanley Cup. Now we're going on to the NHL awards. See what NHL awards we have won. We won the Art Ross Trophy. The Hart Memorial Trophy. And the Frank J. Selke Trophy. And the Tin Ted Lindsay Award. And the Richard Trophy. Oh, we won, a, we won a lot. We won a lot. Holy crap, boys. All right, what does the media, the media got to say about this? It seems you didn't manage to win the cup this time like you promised. Do you think you flew too close to this? I got injured. <laughs> I got injured. How could I predict that? Like, how could I predict that, that? I would get injured in the second round of the playoffs in game one. There was no way. There was no way for me to predict that. But at the end of the season... Oops, that's moving the, the gameplay. Uh, at the end of the season here, 82 games played. We got 83 goals, 42 assists. We got 125 points. We're 95 overall. Holy crap, boys. We actually did pretty good last season. We actually did pretty good last season. We got one slot new. We got one slot unlocked, and uh, we got two hundred sixteen thousand dollars to play with, which is not a lot. New conversation with media. What? Uh, there you go. Press conference. Press conference. Um. Yeah. We're going to win the next Stanley Cup. <laughs> uh, we're going to win the next Stanley Cup. Oh, man, that sucks. That's a, that's a really difficult way to end the season. Like, a really difficult way to end the season. And I believe this is episode 125, right? So it kind of... It's kind of creepy that we ended 125 points and we ended our playoff run on episode 125. Hmm conspiracy <laughs> oh man we got a new slot unlocked that means we can unlock uh we can get a new x factor uh put in which why not put spinorama uh, spinorama and that's the only one we that we have available to put in anyways because we didn't win the stanley cup um but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash the like button make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already unfortunately we didn't come over the win we didn't come up with the Stanley Cup this year, but um, hopefully we can actually win one next year with the same team. Uh, I believe we have like two more years or like a year left on our contract um, with the Anaheim Ducks. So we won two Stanley Cups. Um, we got um, two Con Smites, one Hart Memorial, one Jay Selke Trophy, 
one Art Ross trophy, and three Richard trophies. Those are the three records that we own. Uh, rookie, most goals, 50. Uh, most points, 83. And the most assists, 33. And we got selected for one All-Star game. <laughs> we got four conference wins. We got 26 hat-tricks. We got 229 goals, 108 assists. We got 337 points. Our first point was against Arizona Coyotes, and our first goal was against Arizona Coyotes. As you guys can see, there, there's our milestones uh, for the year. But once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Justin Oprez, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh. I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess What's happening next, yeah He got the venom, a tangible weapon No coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11-11, it's time for progression